While the state continues to be inundated with unemployment claims, some San Diegans seeking disability benefits feel like they're being left behind. Our tennis reporter Jennifer Kastner spoke to a pregnant nurse today who said that filing for disability has been a nightmare. This local woman is 38 weeks pregnant. She says she reached out to us last week for help after she explains that her calls to the state continued to go unanswered. Nicole from Sara Mesa is due to give birth in just days. This military wife tells 10 News she's still working as a nurse to make ends meet for her family. I'm just one person who doesn't, you know, I'm just one citizen in California. There's millions of people here, so I wanted to get somebody's attention for some help. She says in mid-April, her physician instructed her to file her disability claim, which she did. But after hearing all the news about the state drowning in unemployment claims, she grew nervous and tried calling about her own claim. But her multiple daily calls, she says, continued to go unanswered by live agents. No luck online or at the Employment Development Department or EDD office either, she explains. I even sent an email to Governor Newsom's office uh, the same day that I contacted you. Her financial concerns kept growing. I even considered um, after a week of having my baby of trying to go back to work for a few hours, even though I know that wouldn't be medically, um, medically responsible of me. Finally, this Wednesday, she says an agent with the EDD called to say her claim was incomplete and she needed to resubmit it after she goes on leave. She's sure she's not alone in her frustration over trying to get help from state officials. They're focusing so much on unemployment that they also need to focus on the other programs that they have as well. On the state's website, it reports that it usually takes 14 days to determine the eligibility of a claim. Also, your claim begins when you start losing wages and your doctor confirms that you're unable to work. We've got more details on our website, 10news.com. Just click on this story. Jennifer Kastner, 10 News.